Poor mother, the great bailout album review, let's chat about it. Hey friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this latest album uh, from more mother, a Philadelphia-based MC, activist, poet, and more. She's been somebody that's interested me for years now, and you know, it doesn't shock me too much. You know, in my teen years, I was a big, you know, big, big, big Saul Williams guy. I was a weird teenager. Uh, the first time I heard more mother was honestly on a show me the body tape on the that Corpus Eye tape that they put out years ago, but her performance alone on this album was enough, enough to make me go out and listen to uh, her debut album, Fetish Bones, which was a pretty short and sweet, just gnarly and nasty left field hip hop project uh, that brought some heat and, you know, more mother just sounded pissed off and I wanted to hear more. Now, 2019's Analog Fluids of Sonic Black Holes, it's okay. I mean, she got Saul Williams himself to be on this thing, and I'll never be pissed off to hear him. Uh, but here, you know, I just felt like she didn't know what direction she wanted to go in, and uh, the Circuit City project that she put out a couple of years later, that thing just on paper sounds so much cooler than it actually is. However, in the last few years, she has really picked things back up again. The Brass Project that she put out with Billy Woods, that's a freaking cool album. And 2021's Black Encyclopedia of the Air, I mean, while beat-wise the thing could have been a little punchier, yes, I felt like performance-wise, More Mother had never sounded this pissed off and amped, and I was very into that. And her last album, Jazz Codes, I, I personally thought this was just some real quality stuff. Now, leading up to this album, More Mother dropped two singles. One of them I did really enjoy, and one of them I really did not, and I wanted to so bad. Uh, because, sadly, this album, while More Mother has been on a serious, solid streak, this, this may be her weakest project in a while. Now, I will say this. When she's focused, I would argue that this is one of the most experimental and darkest projects more mothers ever touched. It's pretty dangerous sounding at points. All the Money, for example. This track, whew, it's got some teeth to it. This thing is dark. This instrumental is an absolutely twisted piano piece, and I love the whispers just out of reach. It is so tightly wound, and More Mother's constant lyrical onslaught just punches you right in the gut, and that's what it should do. This track is not for the faint of heart, but if you are into the weirder and more abstract side of hip-hop, this track demands to be heard. God Save the Queen, on the other hand, I mean, say what you will, uh, once again, really, really gritty, dark stuff. God Save the Queen, on the other hand, I don't even know what the hell is going on with this album anymore. I mean, when focused, more mothers really reaching on this album and trying new things. This is a hellish jazz piece. It's got these icy synths and a super, super surreal atmosphere. This track in general just doesn't feel comfortable in its own skin. And More Mother's performance on this track is very intense, but very different for her. It's very drawn out, very ghoulish at points. And homie, let me tell you, this track's not going to be for everybody. I mean, a brutally abstract, very wordy hip-hop tune about church corruption. This one's going to clean up next year at the Grammys. But let me tell you, when Mother is on, she is not to be missed. Really love Compensated Emancipation, too. I mean, God, this beat just sounds like a drone metal piece at points. And, man, more Mother's performance on this track. Whew, it, it is brutal. This track is noisy. It's diabolical. It's hellish, too. Hope? I, I forgot what Hope was a long time ago. And ironically, uh, it was released as a single a while back. And with all this stuff, like, making this track a very abrasive, abstract piece, it's still, ironically, one of the more approachable tracks on this album. But man, even for Mother, this is a specifically gutsy and really intense performance. Visual too, I love it. Now, while this project still remains infinitely fascinating at points, More Mother does make some really bad decisions on this album, I feel like. Like Guilty, for example, which was released as a single at 10 minutes long. It's very airy, it's super mystic in its vibes, it's very experimental, but it's a little much for me. I mean, let's start with the positives here. Aesthetically, the atmosphere is absolutely divine. It is sweet, it is whimsical, it is so engaging. And I really don't hate the lyrical content at all. As a matter of fact, the repeated uh, guilty lyric is actually really powerful. But over these 10 minutes, I feel like it's a little unorganized. This should be a fiery, passionate, exciting spoken word piece. I actually feel like this in a live setting would be wild. 
But the reality is, while the lyrical content of this track is solid and this track still needs to be heard, I feel like it could have been done a lot differently. I have a lot of the same feelings on Death by Longitude. Once again, atmosphere, as far as that goes, intoxicating. But this is one of the sloppiest and most average tracks I've heard from More Mother in a while. I mean, lyrically, it's still a gut punch, but stylistically, this is not exciting or nothing new. I don't know, it's just average. This this album overall is just kind of average. I wish I could just rant and rave about how great it is because I respect More Mother so much, but her ideas on this album, while often very interesting, do come up a little unorganized. I have a lot of the same feelings on South Sea as well, another nine-minute track. And it's sort of hazy, it's very eclectic, and a very spiritual-sounding track too. And a lot of those spiritual elements are some of the best moments on this album. It's so interesting and so different. But over these nine minutes, there's not a lot else to grip to. I mean, the instrumental to this track seems completely, completely separate from More Mother's performance. Of all of her performances on this album, this is by far the least captivating. She seems a little lost and once again unfocused. And this track goes places. It gets hellish and jazzy at parts once again. But More Mother herself on this track really doesn't keep my interest and that's sad. And Spem and Allium as a finale little outro instrumental, it just came and went and I didn't even know it existed. Yeah, sadly, this is not my favorite project from More Mother, but I will say this. While not a perfect album and not one of her best albums, she's such a unique artist that I would say give this album a listen anyway. My Soul's Been Anchored is one of the freakiest tracks here. It just sounds like another otherworldly deconstructed jazz tune, and this track's kind of like an interlude, but it's one that works really effective. It increases the tension and all the feelings of this album while bringing in some very cursed new sounds as well. And Liverpool Wins may be my favorite track here. Whew, this is easily one of the most tense tracks here. I mean, this is noisy. We get a really intense delivery from More Mother as well as a fantastic feature from Kyle Kidd. Easily the best one here. This track to me is just one of the best mediums. It gives More Mother a little room to breathe without slowing her down. It's one of the most urgent and call to arms moments here too. And something that I will always appreciate about More Mother is that every last bit of her energy goes used. There is nothing wasted. It's a spicy tune, easily one of my favorites here. Yeah, sadly, this is not my favorite uh, project from More Mother, especially because two of the worst tracks here take up over half the album at nine and ten minutes long. It just seems that she's a little bit more unfocused this time around. I mean, more than often, the lyrical content and performances aren't the problem here. It's the ideas floating around it that are. Still though, while I'm not crazy about this album, give it a listen because More Mother is such a unique and interesting artist and she deserves so much more. But for now, I'm feeling a strong six on this album, but let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.